You know, it's, uh, they got the first goal there on the power play. I think they have a good power play. Um, and I thought we did a really good job of, uh, of answering back uh, with a goal right away. And then, you know, I like the way we played tonight um, outside of a couple bad penalties and I think face-offs. And we have, we have to find a way to, to solve Benson. But, uh, you know, I was, I was happy with the effort tonight uh, from the guys. Question. Oh, no, that's it. Question. What was making it so hard? I mean, you guys doubled them up in shots, but both teams, I mean, after that first period, no scoring. What was making it so hard for either of you guys tonight? Well, we only gave up 15 shots. Yeah. And, you know, I thought um, you know, our team hasn't been giving up many shots. Mm -hmm. This is probably our, our, our fourth or fifth game we've held our opponent under 20. Um, we just miss we missed some empty nets. I thought Benson played really well. I thought he made some saves, especially in overtime. Uh, the chance on Yoder too was we had a really, you know I think with two minutes to go, Yoder had a really good chance. Just he's a good goalie. Um, <clears throat> so you know just we got we got to find a way to solve them, uh, clean up a couple areas too because I think they're you know I think they're they can be. Uh, Pretty dynamic at times. Is this more of what you were looking for coming off that loss to Brown? Yeah, the effort. You know, the effort wasn't there. Um, the effort was here tonight. The finish wasn't, but the, the but the effort was there, and that's you know it's it's these shootouts. Like I'll, I'll say it when I lose it, and I'll say it when I win it. <laughs> you know, it stinks that you leave a game feeling like you're either good or you're bad because of a shootout. Um, but, you know, I thought that the extra point in the shootout was deserved by us tonight with the, with the way we played. This game had a, um, 11 penalties. Is that something that you think could continue and sort of carry over into, into uh, tomorrow? And is that something that you're comfortable with? No, I'm not comfortable with it. Their power play is one of the best parts of the game. Put Nestorenko and, and Gauthier and, and Kuntar out there. Um, I thought that's when they had some of their best looks on the power play there. So <clears throat> I think we have to be way more disciplined tomorrow. I think we took two or three stick penalties. Um, we took one after the whistle at the net front. You, you know, you're playing with fire with that power play. Overall, though, you guys are, are, you have a tremendous uh, season going on, 9-3-3. Three and three, And I'm just wondering, you know, what has been some of the keys to your success so far this season? I like our depth up front. Um, I thought our goaltender played well tonight. Uh, you know, he's he's a freshman, but I think he's uh, he's put in some good performances for us. Um, but I, I just I don't think we're um, you know I, I just think the depth of our of our group is what is what makes us successful. And just contrasting that with the year that you had last year where you had a lot of wins but you finished seventh in the league is it nice to to get off to this kind of start in league play yeah i mean but it's, it's going to be the same as it was last year you know like it's it's not going to be any different there's going to be four points to separate six or seven teams i mean the shootouts are going to play a major impact this year um you know and it, it is what it is you know um but it, it's it, if you finish seventh in our league right now, you, you 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 know I don't want to finish that with, first of all, like, but you can't hang your head because the, the depth of our league this year um, is outstanding, and it's you know you're going to scrape and claw for every point in this league, and um, you know it's 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 a, like I mentioned, it's going to be no different than it was last year. Four points going to separate six seven teams, and you know, Northeastern won the league. The last minute of a game last year on a face-off, <laughs> so <clears throat> it's it's a great league. Uh, it's why players develop. It's why players get to the next level. Um, every game is meaningful. Every game, every game is uh, is really good hockey. So uh, you know, it, as a fan, you can celebrate it, and I think the ESPN Plus is really celebrating. You know, I mean, I think that was one of the best moves our league's ever made, um, because more and more people can can celebrate that. Um, from a from a coaching standpoint, you know, 
it's you know it's it's going to be a stressful year. Sure. I, I don't smoke cigarettes, but I might start. <laughs> it's a great deal too. Um, real quick, uh, your leading scorer coming into this game is uh, Brett Berard. Can you say it, uh, what it would see? Uh, Show me this year that uh, has impressed you. He's dynamic. I mean, he's uh, but he 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 got injured. I, I think he's very doubtful for the line. Okay. Um, it's kind of that net front at the end. Um, and so other guys are going to have to step up. We've been without Connor Kelly, you know, for a while. It's just it's it's testing our depth right now. Um, but you know, as far as the Brett's a dynamic player. He's I think he's one of the top fours in the league. You know, he's. When the puck's on his stick, there's, you know, he he can break guys down and he can uh, he can make plays out of nothing. And uh, the, the nice thing for Brett is I think his his motor has really been there this year. So 